Now people don't agree on exactly how to anneal brass. Everybody agrees that it does need to be done. The anneal brass, the new brass when it arrives from the factory, has been annealed. The brass work hardened as it's worked, and even at the factory, they know that it has to be annealed before it's shipped to you and loaded up. Otherwise, it would crack when you tried to fire it. Now it's very important that you do not anneal the case head. Now annealing the case head will make the brass too soft on the case and could blow up your rifle when you try to fire the thing. You don't want all those gases escaping into the rifle, you want them to go down the barrel. So the head needs to be good and hard, it's work hardened and that's a good thing. On the other end of the case, the case becomes work hardened and that's a bad thing. So it needs to be softened up. Now when you heat it to where it's glowing hot and then suddenly quench it into water, you temper it. So tempering does harden it, but what we're doing here is first we are taking out the work hardening and softening up the case and then we restore it to a good temper which is just perfect for uh, firing in a rifle. Now it's very important that the, that the head remains cool so these are in water. And it works out good that way because you need to quench it to temper it anyway. So having it in water just sort of works perfect for, for what you want to do here. I get mine to a good glow. Now some people stop about right there or, or something and, and, and don't really put a whole lot of heat on there. I get mine going real well and get it down into the shoulder because uh, brass wants to split up here at the mouth and it wants to split right there at the shoulder. Plus, when, you, when you're working the brass, and I have to uh, full length resize mine for my rifle. So uh, when I'm doing that, if I get the shoulder softened back up again, then uh, the full length resizing goes better. It, it, it's better for a, a building up consistency with your brass because then, then the shoulder to head dimension will be consistent on all your brass if it has the same softness. I uh, hope that gives you a little information here on uh, annealing. Like I said, nobody agrees how you're really supposed to do this, but this is the way that I do it. So, good luck and good shooting.